Everest is another beast altogether. I uh, am not afraid of heights, but I saw this film in IMAX 3D, and there were a couple of scenes where I'm kind of going, whoa, what's really going on, especially kind of looking down, you know, on the mountain. How familiar were you with this story before you signed on with the project? I remember when it happened. I was in Cannes with my very first film. Very and crazy intense day in my, in my life. Very memorable, and I remember just reading in a paper, oh my God, there's some guy up a mountain, he's dying, and he's called his wife. You know, it really is a ride when you're watching this film. Uh, you're dealing, you know, with people's lives. But, you know, kind of what was going through the back of my mind was like, why do people take these risks? Very, very good question. I couldn't do that in a million years. It's not, I think you either have it or you don't. It beggars belief to me that somebody could go, okay, I'm going to put myself in a situation where my body, after a certain height, your body is dying and you have a window of opportunity to get to the top and back. If anything goes wrong, you're just stuffed. Incredible. You're playing somebody that's real. Yes. How does that weigh into your preparation? My character is fortunate that she survived and she's alive and I talked to her, we Skyped together and she was a really interesting woman. She, she had a very ordinary life in New Zealand. She was a housewife with four children. She answered an advertisement to enter a competition um, to go trekking with adventure consultants who were national heroes in New Zealand. They were you know, part of a world elite group of climbers. And she won this competition. She went, she trekked with them to base camp um, and fell in love with the whole thing and then went back the next year and wrote to them and said, can I meet you? And they were looking for a manager and said, do you want to come work for us? So that's how she got that job. So she wasn't a climber at all, but she felt, I think, alive and part of something in a way that she never had before. If anyone can make it, you can.